Welcome to the M8 Infrastructure sponsored Lions Lounge. Um, for all your infrastructure needs, please give our sponsors a little look. Now, I would usually start by introducing the person next to me. Today, I'm gonna to go about a different way and say, in my line of work, I meet a lot of people in the public eye, famous, whatever. It means fuck all to me, to be honest, but today is a different story. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Terry Erlock. Tell. How are you, Tell? Thanks so much for Lovely joining to meet us. Lovely yeah, Thank nice you. Nice one. Right. Hello, everyone. Straight into it. Go on. Crack on. I didn't know this until yesterday. Yeah. Uh, you actually did your youth career at West Ham. Yeah, um, I've done this at West Ham. Uh, I was there since I was uh, 12 years of age. Um, we had a little cup final over Le Leighton. There's an old West Ham uh, scout called Wallace and Pier. Wallace, that was it. He, uh, the next film I'm in there, which was a lovely feeling at the time. Of course, of course, yeah. You just, you just want to make it, you know. Of course you do. That's it. Doesn't mean you make it. Not that I did but, make it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean you make it as a schoolboy, but I mean, they don't take them now. I mean, I was 12. Take me at six and all that kind of yeah, there, you know what I mean? But uh, 12 years of age, I think, is about the right time. Who was your heroes growing up, your idols? Well, my idol uh, was a fella from Chelsea called Charlie Cook. Right. Was he a midfielder? Yeah, he was a winger for Chelsea, and I used to love him to death. Uh, but when I was a kid, because I, I lived in uh, sort of the middle of a load of teams, West Ham, Tottenham, Chelsea was a little bit far, the Orient was near. I could walk the Tottenham. Never used to go to Chelsea too much, but now and again. So uh, I didn't really support anyone. Yeah, yeah. But just because I liked the football. Listen, years ago, there weren't too much to do anyway. I'd go and play a game of football, go and watch a game of football. Yeah, of course, you've all the computers and that is now. I found myself walking over Tottenham quite a bit because you could walk over the marshes there. Eventually, you made your name. So again, as a, as a young Millwall fan, I just remember you playing for Millwall, yeah. I remember you going to Rangers, but you actually made your name at Brentford. Um, yeah, well what happened was, I got, I got slung out of West Ham uh, when I was 19. What'd you do? Well, what I, what I was doing, I was, because I missed so much, like any young kid growing up, that a lot of them don't make it that way. They, they you know, you go out, you, you, I was missing all the going out, clubbing and clubs all the little discos and all that game, and um, I seem to lose a bit of interest. You know, and uh, my aunt weren't there, my mates were picking me up, and I was making out, I was a bit dicky and that, so I, I said, oh, I don't feel well, I'm going home. Da -da -da, and I was going out on the piss. And all of a sudden, Ron Greenwood, he just, when it when the company renewed me contract, he just turned around and said, no, da -da -da, you go. So, no, but I can't, I can't blame him for that, because, uh, um, but once he was out, once I got out of football, you missed and it. I had a few jobs, window cleaning, coaling, doing this and getting a few quid and going to the discos and going to the nightclubs. I thought, what the fuck have I done here? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? What a lovely life playing football is. And then you moved, ended up making it to Brentford. Yeah. You played with Kamara at Brentford. Chris Kamara was there, yeah. I took, Unbelievable, Jeff. What was he like, Cammy? Cammy was all right. He was a good player. He had them long legs. I remember playing against him. He was a fucker to play against. He had them little legs, well, long legs. But he did stop running, and when you thought you got fucking rid of him, his long legs come right round you. But uh, it was good because it was me, him, and Stan Bowles in midfield, and it that was not a bad midfield. Yeah, good. And eventually, you found your way to Millwall. Yeah, saw sense. Well, <laughs> so yeah, we eventually just, I got there. This is this is the one that you know we, we want. How did you how did that come about? Well, when we played at Brentford. Um, it was the same team at Millwall, but it was switched round. It was uh, Frank was the manager, Frank McClintock. McClintock, yeah. And Johnny was the number two. Okay. And obviously, uh, when they got the job at Millwall, uh, the other way round, they thought of coming in for me. So thank God for that, because uh, I was I was at Reading just before that, and we went up, we went up the league. So, but once I heard that, I couldn't wait to get there, because a lot of my friends were Millwall, and I used to love. Even though I got so much bollockings at me when I was playing against them for Brentford, um, I absolutely adored it. And I mean, uh, I used to go into the pubs after the game. I never used to go back in the coach. I used to go into the little pubs with my mates. It's called Barnaby. Yeah, the Barnaby. Yeah. Barnaby. I mean, and uh, the old show, I think it was. I mean, these old pubs. And I used to go in there, and it was always packed out. But I always got a good reception. Well, I got booed, but I mean, it was good reception. <laughs> and uh, you know, and I loved that. I loved it all. I loved the whole picture of it. Yeah, yeah, to give it all the fans. It's a bit of me, put it that way. 